Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today is a exciting video. As you can see by the title, you know what you're here for. This is not what you're here for. Still stick around for me. We're going to unbox my new phone. So I, well, you know what? Let's just do the little intro that have not changed since I started this channel. And let's get into it. So, I got the iPhone 11. I got the purple one. I did not want the purple one. But I got it because that's the only one they had at the store that I went to. I wanted the green one. Not the green one, the black one. But I have this thing that I'm working on and it's like my meter of like spoiledness. And my meter is pretty high. So Instead of waiting to get what I wanted, like what I really wanted, I was like, you know what, let me just get this one because I want this phone and you don't really see the phone anyway because I don't have cases on it. So whatever. Spoiled meter. Climbing up. Steady climbing. I did help a little bit because I really wanted to make this video for you guys. I really enjoy these videos and I want to do a what's on my iPhone like nursing school edition as well for you guys and my boyfriend had been visiting this weekend so I had no time to record I've had this phone I picked it up on Friday today is Sunday my boyfriend went home early this morning so I've had this for like two days not touching it <laughs> and I'm just like the spoiled princess inside of me is like, but I want it. And I'm like, no, do this for your channel. Like, do it. So that's what I'm going to do. One reason why I'm so excited is that I am coming from an iPhone 8 going to the 11. So it's going to be a lot to get used to. I'm not going to have this home button here. So I think that's going to be interesting and I'm, ho My baby. <laughs> I'm hoping that is bigger like because this phone is too small for me but I was too cheap to like pay for a plus like an 8 plus so hopefully this one is bigger and I really like it. So we're going to start opening it. I like how they make it so easy. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be like trying to bite the plastic open. It's off. So this is what it looks like. This is the box. And what's cool about it is like the iPhone thing here and like the Apple are purple too. So I wonder if it's like green with the green one. <laughs> Should have got the green one. It's okay. I'm okay. So I'm gonna open the box. So open the box. Boom. Here it is. Here it is in all its glory and beauty. Okay. Okay, so I'm not sure I found the right angle or the best angle, but this is what it looks like. Let me take it out. Let's see. I'm not ready to take that off yet. Gonna. Ooh, I'm gonna put my case on there before I take this off. I want like fingerprints. <laughs> I'm going to set that to the side though. 
So if you know Apple products, you know that they have same stuff and everything. So I have my wall cord, the earbuds, charger. Simple, simple, simple. Okay. Let's see. It's a welcome screen. Swipe up. Can hit English. United States. So it says quick start. You can bring your current iPhone, iPad near this phone to sign in and set up. So if your other iPhone does not show option for setting up this iPhone, make sure it's running iOS 11 or later. Ooh. Okay. It's like this little thing you have to put the camera over it. <sighs> Is this about to be quick? This is about to be quick, quick. Put my passcode in. It is setting up. Wow. Wow. You know, I've watched these videos and it's taking people forever to set that thing up. But I guess they go like manually so you can see everything. So, I don't know. Maybe I should have went manually so you can see everything. But it's going to be okay. So now... Texting for face ID. Should I do this without my glasses? I should do this without my glasses. Hopefully I can see it good enough. <laughs> Let me read it first. It is now set up. Should put my contacts on. Oh well. Saxon if I want to transfer data. I'm going to say yes and it's saying it's going to take 20 to 25 minutes. So while it's doing that, I'm going to get my case. Just got this case from Amazon. It was like $4. Because I didn't want to you know, spend a whole lot to lot to money. And it has a screen protector in with it, so I was like, it's like a two-in-one. And I'm a deal shopper, so I like that. The back is harder, but the screen protector is kind of flimsy. But I really just want the screen protector so I won't get scratches. I can get this thing off. There we go. So it's two parts like this. Let's. <sighs> Sounds so nice. Is there one back here? No. Okay. So you put the screen protector on first. Like that. And then you pop it in here. It's kind of like a otter box, but way cheaper. This is how it looks in the case. Terms and conditions. Okay. It says keep your phone up to date. Get the latest feature security and iOS improvements so you see notification before you install. I always like to install my updates manually. Location services. 
is what it's saying. Location services. Location services allows maps and other apps and services to find, like find my, together. Okay, yes. I've used to find my iPhone a lot to find my AirPods. <laughs> a lot. Um, Apple Pay, I'll add cards later. It's asking if I want to use my Apple Watch here, and yes. Siri, yes. It's about Siri. It's telling me to say, hey Siri. Hey Siri! My other phone was like, me? <laughs> nah, not you. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? It's telling me to say all these. It's telling me to say all these things. So, Siri, know my voice. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Beats one live and direct to you. They want to know if they can use my voice to make Siri better. Go ahead. Phone analytics. Do you want to share and make it better? I always say don't share because, <laughs> I mean, I know they're spying on you anyway, but that's like a way to spy on you to tell you, but saying like, oh, we're spying on you for the greater good, but you're still spying on me. So I, the bar is here. If you can see it, I got to wait for it to go all the way over. So this is the time I have. Once it is complete, I will come back. Um, I also got this like pop socket holder thingy. So I guess I'm going to put that on here. This is a big phone. It's bigger than what I'm used to. So I got to think about how I want it. But now I can hold it like here and I can hold it and it can go up but it won't fall and then this is supposed to be able to like so you can lean it up okay it worked it was like weird at first but it worked so it says I have 11 more minutes I'm going to go get myself some breakfast and once it's done I'll show you okay so I came back because it looks like it's trying to finish up and I wanted you guys to see what it looked like. Hello. Gotta unlock it. It's unlocked. It says restore completed. Apps and data will continue to download in the background. So it's setting up my iPhone. Is it really 11.30? Oh, I don't think... It's been on dark mode too. So, because my phone's on dark mode. I didn't peep that till I saw this. I'm like, oh yeah, it's on dark mode. So, I'm keeping this as a backup phone though. Just in case anything happens. Get that. That phone is not a bad phone. It's just that lately... Um, it hasn't been notifying me of my messages and people have called me and I've had no idea because it never reached my phone. Um, and I wanted something new. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that phone. So it's asking me about Apple Pay again and I will set that up later. No need for that information to be everywhere. Okay, so now it is showing me 
how to work this phone, which I need to know. Okay. Hope it focused. So saying when you go home, you swipe up from the bottom at any time to go home. So I've seen people do that. I never actually got to do that for myself, for my own phone. Okay, to switch in between apps, you go from the edge, swipe up from the edge, then release. So, it's kind of like a little bit, versus home is all the way up, this is a little bit, and go. Okay. The control thing is up here. This is a big phone for my hands. I mean, compared to this one. It's a big phone. Happy. Maybe I will have less typos. <laughs> but my text, this is. It's here. That's my home screen. Right there. Ooh, look at all these apps. All these apps I'm going to delete. Wow. Let's see. Something I want to check. Yes, it came over. Haha, -ha, that's good. Home. Wow. Look at all this. Wow. It is all set up. So it is set up. Oh, it's my lock screen. My lock screen, it looks so nice, so big. Oh my gosh. It's up there. Okay. Before I get all fangirly and go through my phone and see what the apps look like on a bigger screen, and <laughs> probably download some more even though I don't need to so I can keep my space but and I gotta delete the other ones that I'm not gonna use so this brings me to the end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed it I really did um I feel like I was so immersed in it and not necessarily in the video and if it came across like that I'm so sorry, but the next video coming up should be a what's on my iPhone after I get it set up the way that I want it. Um, and then you guys can see that. You can see what apps I use that have helped me keep up with things in life, help me study, help me just keep my sanity throughout nursing school. So if you're interested, Keep a lookout because it is coming. Like, I might even be recording it today. So, we'll see about that. But yeah, that's the end of this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, a likes up. <laughs> Go ahead and comment down below. We can start a little, a little Android versus Apple debate in the comments too if you want to. As long as we stay... Uh, respectful you know if you don't have apple why did you choose a uh, samsung maybe or a pixel if you if anybody has a google phone please tell me what it's like like a pixel whatever like if you have it tell me what it's like or any other phone that's not like a samsung or apple tell me what it is like okay so <laughs> I'm going to finish up my few apple slices and uh, just lose time for the rest of my day playing with my new phone. <laughs> so, I love you all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!